Hi, my name is Lee Tiernan. I'm here in Portland, Oregon with my friend and local barman, Sean Horde. And today he's going to show me how to make a Ramos gin fizz. So, what's in a gin fizz? Well, a gin fizz is a pretty standard sour build. Uh, gin, citrus, sugar, but the Ramos gin fizz has a little bit of cream, egg white, and orange blossom water. And that's, that's kind of what makes it special. So I'm going to use three quarters ounce of lemon juice. Fresh juice is always better. I'm going to use a half an ounce of gum syrup, but you could substitute two to one if you don't have any gum arabic laying around the house. Is that two to one like a syrup? Yeah, exactly. So two sugar. parts cane to one part water. I'm doing egg white over here. I'm gonna give that a good shake. Egg white just kind of dries out the palate and affects okay. where you taste the cocktail. Like on physically the on your tongue, absolutely. You've got an interesting face when you do that, Anitha. There's a whole website. I think I know like, what you look like when you're in your more intimate moments. <laughs> I'm gonna put three quarters of an ounce of heavy cream in there. Beautiful beef eater. And then, people argue about this all the time, but I like it with a little bit of vanilla. So two drops of vanilla. I said that is a little, but does it yeah. go a long way? Well, so what we do is we uh, steep bourbon vanilla beans in really high proof bourbon. And then three drops orange blossom water. Orange blossom water is a really aromatic water that comes from the blossoms of oranges. Quite distinct. Yeah, you see it a lot in like middle, more middle perfect, Eastern markets. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna add two ounces of soda water to my glass. I'm gonna add ice to this cocktail and then I'm gonna shake it like crazy. Sort of the way the legend goes is that this cocktail is supposed to be shaken for about 20 minutes. And you okay. pass it down the bar to barman, to barman, to barman, to barman. You don't need to shake it for 20 minutes, but it does need a good hard shake. Yeah. So I like to let it settle like this. This gives you a chance to talk to your guest. I mean, really, I'm gonna let it sit for, for almost a minute. It develops this really beautiful, sort of distinct head that becomes almost the garnish. That looks damn good, thank you very much. My pleasure. I drink that all day. Oh, that's great. And the egg white part of that too is that's what keeps it so light, you know? In the summertime, a fizz or you know, something like this with an egg white is a little bit preferred. So the winter time, maybe you make a similar drink, but you use the egg yolk because it's got that richness. It's great. So it's this is it's perfect dryness. Yeah.